also going to record this. So let's kick it over to the listing. All right. So this is what the full listing looks like in the multiple list service. You can see, as I mentioned, um, three bedrooms, three baths built in 2007, and we have got that uh, cabin or lodge um, style. It's in the Spring Glades Wood, Spring Glade Woods community, uh, which does have a $200 a year fee um, to maintain the roads and things. That's not a whole lot. Uh, if you've been looking at homes in our area, you know that depending on what types of services the HOA offers, uh, the prices vary. But $200 a year is not a whole lot to ask to have the roads plowed for you. Um, we have got just over 2,000 finished square feet, you can see here. Um, in the in the property and again it's a mountaineer log home so what i want to do is show you all the area that this is in one of the best features about this home as i mentioned is privacy but i also love that it is sort of equidistant to the deep creek lake area as well as oakland maryland so i'm just zooming out the map and hopefully everyone can see this parcel that is the property and so Garrett Highway is just up the road. We're on Spring Glade Road, which is, as I said, about 10 minutes from the Deep Creek Lake area. So if you head north, which is what we're doing now, you're gonna see that Deep Creek Lake is just a few minutes up the road. Mayhew Inn is here, so Swallow Falls is also not far. Um, we're gonna have Swallow Falls back this way. And then if you, come out a little further, you'll see that the town of Oakland is right here. Whoops, too far. The town of Oakland is right here. So shopping, groceries, um, things like the hospital are only gonna be, again, this is, our, this is our property right here. They're only gonna be about 10 minutes or less away. Now we are zooming way far out. So that is the aerial. And I did wanna zoom in a little more and just show you what the lot looks like. So we're off of, off of Circle Four Lane and right here is Homestead Court. So you've got a neighbor behind you here, but a lot of really nice tree cover between you and the neighbor. So here's our property. And as you can see, there are vacant lots all around. And so this parcel is 3.4 acres, but for at least the time being, you have a vacant lot on basically all sides of the property. I know that's important to a lot of folks um, who might wanna to continue to maintain that privacy. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in now to some of the photographs of the home. These are the tailor-made photos that um, our photographer put together. Obviously they were taken in the winter um, or what, what we had of a winter. We're looking forward to updating these photos now for spring. Here is that gorgeous covered front porch that I talked to you about. You can see the log construction, the tongue and groove ceiling, even on the porch, the beautiful light fixtures, and again, just tons of privacy. The home is on a crawl space, so you don't have a full basement. Some people um, really like that, and I think it's great because it's just kind of less space to worry about and less to heat, certainly. So here we are at the main entrance. Kitchen, we're gonna take another look at this when we do the 3D tour. I love the beams, just beautiful. Oak cabinets. Tons of natural light. This is the dining area. Over here, we'll get a better view of this, but this is the stacked stone fireplace in the living area. Now they have a wood stove here. A new owner could do whatever they wanted if they wanted it to be the open fireplace or if they wanted to keep the wood stove. There is a full bath on this level. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, here we go. So full bath with a shower stall on the main level. And now we're in the loft area, flipping through the photographs. And so we've got a bedroom here and a bedroom here. And this is the master bedroom. 
so spacious, so bright, beautiful natural light. Here is the master bath and the large walk-in closet. And here's one of the other bedrooms on the second floor. So they have drywall in these rooms, which is different from the rest of the house, but they did continue the ceiling features, which I think are just gorgeous. Those hardwood floors are beautiful. They do have an inline or an instant, uh, excuse me, an instant hot water heater. Um, so hot water's instant. Front porch. And as you can see, kind of what I was talking about with the lot being really private, you just look out over the wooded area here, tons of privacy. That stackstone chimney, which I hope we'll get another shot of here, is absolutely gorgeous. And in addition to the stackstone chimney, they did that uh, stackstone feature on the, um, the beams at the bottom of the house. Fire pit, ready to go. Um, this is access to the crawl space right here. And then they've got the patio area back here. Just really, really a pretty property. Let me just jump right in then to the virtual open house. So again, like the other virtual open houses that you all may have taken with me, we are using 3D Matterport technology to um, host the open house. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this is the best and safest way for us to be able to tour a home together, especially in an open setting like this. Um, if you're interested in a specific property in our area, there are still lots of ways that I can help you. If you're thinking of selling your home, this is a very good time to do it, despite what you may, what you may feel about uh, the situation that we're all in with the pandemic. There are still listings coming on the market. There are still listings going under contract and there are still listings closing every day here in Garrett County and in Western Maryland. And I'm certainly happy to explain that and how we can get those transactions accomplished for you in more detail. What I wanna do now is just spin around to the front door, which I think is just gorgeous. So this is where folks would enter the home and let's start in the kitchen area. So much natural light. So you can see the hardwood floors throughout the property, just beautifully maintained. This home has been used as a second home for the current owners, and they are the only owners since 2007. They built the property. I love these countertops. They really stand out among the, um, the log siding. Oops. And the hardwood floors. Tons of storage in the kitchen. And I love the glass features on the custom cabinets. I just think that breaks it up a little and it's really pretty. So imagine washing dishes here, farmhouse style sink, the nice deep sink, beautiful um, black granite, and just looking out on this gorgeous wooded scene in the backyard, which is extremely private. This would be the rear entrance. So we've got a tub sink, a spot for a washer and dryer, that hot water heater that I was talking about. Nice ceramic tile here in the mud room. And let's spin up over to the dining area, which this looks a little wonky right now because of that angle. So we've got the dining area, and as I mentioned, the breakfast bar. So you've got uh, a little extra seating here or a great space, you know, for someone to just kind of plop up and either have their coffee, do a little work if you're working from home, maybe you want to take a break from the dining room table and go over to the breakfast bar. <laughs> Let's go check out the living room now. Oh, as I mentioned, there is a full bath on the main level that is here. And this is the full bath with the shower stall. There's a linen closet back here, uh, commode is over here, and then of course the sink. And I love the way that they cover these beams to match the rest of the house. 
this door is a deep uh, closet under the stairs. So that's something else that, you know, some folks may be concerned that there's no basement and that they would have a lack of storage because of that. That is not the case in this property. There's closet space, there are cabinets, there's a lot of storage. Plus you do have the crawl space uh, that you could, you could use. So let's check out the living area. As I mentioned, beautiful natural stack stone fireplace in the, um, the wood, it's a wooded fireplace. And you've got the option here for, for sort of two seating areas. Here's another nice deep closet. Um, the way that this is set up right now, they've got a couple of spots for seating, um, but you could really break this up into two seating areas. Uh, you could potentially put a desk down here if you did need an office or have a continue the open concept, which I really like that they've done that, um, especially if you have a larger group. So there's plenty of room for everyone. So up here, let's see, it's kind of hard to see, but the open space, so you've got that feeling of the cathedral uh, type ceiling or the vaulted ceiling here, and then the loft. Just like on the front porch, they used the natural log look for the railing on the loft, um, um, both on the lower level and upstairs, so you'll see that. I really like that feel. You can see it a little more with the railing on the loft up here. Whoop, we're zooming right along. <laughs> so let's start in this back bedroom. So again, three bedrooms and all three of the rooms are on the second floor, the loft level. Nice high ceilings, another nice big closet, beautiful hardwood floors. As I mentioned, both bedrooms um, on the, or two of the bedrooms, I should say, on the upper level have the drywall, which is nice. It's a nice variation. Here is full bath with tub. So I know that a tub is important for a lot of folks, um, especially if you have little ones like me who aren't quite ready for the shower. We've got another bedroom over here. We're gonna fly across the loft. And here's just another example of how beautifully wooded and private this property is. Look at that. Out the window here and over here. No sign of anyone else. You've got the place to yourself. There is a closet here as well. And those nice hardwood floors. Let's go. So the master suite now. Now these folks um, built this as kind of an open space, but certainly if someone wanted to finish off and add a doorway, um, if that was important to you for your master suite, that could be done really easily. So we've got more tongue and groove, hardwood floors, and just a really, really nice space here. Again, tons of privacy. There's a little glimpse of that chimney that I was talking about, the stack stone. So nice. Oh, I'm freezing up. What's happening? My virtual tour froze. Let's try and open it again so that I can just show you. We were almost done, but I'd love to show you one more area, which is the master bath. So this closet in the master suite is a walk-in closet, tons and tons of space. And then we have the master bath, which is a larger shower stall um, than the one downstairs. So that is the quick virtual tour of 75 Homestead Court. This property is, um, it's, it's just, it's beautiful, it's spacious, it's well built. It's listed right now for $279,000. Um, and again, with that, you've got over 2,000 square feet, a recent build in 2007, 10 minutes from Deep Creek Lake, 10 minutes or less from Oakland, Maryland, and you're on a three plus acre lot, nearly three and a half acres in a really great space. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the tour. I am gonna continue to do these virtual open houses 
I know they're a little different than what we're used to, but I think it's a great option for folks to tune in and kind of have a more relaxed uh, experience on the open house. So I'm gonna continue to do these even when the pandemic is through. Check out uh, my Facebook page. And also if you'd like to receive up-to-date emails, um, I do keep a pretty, a pretty um, expansive email campaign going at all times for my contacts. So if you'd like to get information about these open houses or anything else that's going on in the Deep Creek Lake and Garrett County, Western Maryland real estate market, drop your email either in the comments or feel free to private message me with your email and I'll get you added to my email list so that you can get more up-to-date information. I'll be doing another virtual open house on Sunday. I'm really excited to show you guys what I have planned for that one. Thanks so much for tuning in. Enjoy the sunshine. Stay safe and well, and happy Wednesday. Bye.